Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Today I am here to talk about Clive and Wrench. Now it has been far too long since I've done a video about this and when I mean far too long, I mean I've never done a video about this. I've only referred to it uh, quite a lot, you know, throughout my YouTube career, I guess, because this thing has been going on for uh, almost as long as since I've been doing YouTube. A little bit of a backstory while I play over some really, really cool footage, which is from uh, Dinosaur Bites' new video. I first heard about Clive and Wrench when it was called Clive and the Stones of the Ancient Bunnies. And it was a game that was, you know, it was like, it was not too far along in development, but there were some levels that looked really cool. Um, there was like some fire sort of level. It was a very basic sort of um, graphically sort of basic concept, but I absolutely loved it because you gotta remember 2011, there was, there weren't, there weren't 3D platformers being developed, you know, by fans or, or by, you know, amateur developers, I guess. And now if you look at this footage, uh, Rob is anything but an amateur. This is truly incredible stuff. You've got to remember this, guys. This is done by essentially give or take one guy mainly. I believe he has had help in the past and stuff like that. He's not doing the music. There's a team doing the music and stuff like that. But from the core development perspective, he is the primary developer. He's the main guy and truly this is just unbelievable stuff for one person to do. Now, I guess with, when it comes to fan games and like, get, you know, because I do a lot of fan games and this is not a fan game, this is a, you know, legitimately new intellectual property. Um, one thing people, you know, always sort of say about this is, oh, the graphics are old and stuff like that. That is the intent. His intent is to make an old style looking game. You know, I mean, I guess, but you know, if you look at how it plays with modern tech as in, you know, modern, um, you know, modern, Features, I guess, you know, for example, you don't have to worry about like Spyro the Dragon-esque level of detail You don't have to worry about stuff like that But this this is exactly what I feel like we need to see from More people, you know, creating their own IPs and being able to, you know, not aim so high to the point where they're trying to make a PS3 graphic looking game with one person because that's that's what I've said about with some Spyro fan games in the past uh, I know that you know Hoiksoft I'm sure if he went back to making uh, Spyro Eclipse he would go with a more classical style because it's easier to use what you know and what you grew up with than to try and innovate in terms of like graphics as one person so this is this is all pretty old footage uh, this is actually from May 2017 I really want to show you the rest of the levels but at the same time I don't want to show you because I want to give you like footage that sort of represents what the game looks like now and hopefully hopefully this will encourage uh, old Rob to make some more footage and maybe even send me some footage so I can cover the game more I really am enjoying being able to cover like doing videos about other games as well you know not just um not just you know Spyro and Crash fan games and stuff like that now there's Drew the Ripper um hmm that guy this interesting name isn't it Drew the Ripper uh, I wonder, I wonder if there's going to be a voice cast for this game, I wonder who he would have thought to uh, be Drew the Ripper. Am I, am I hamming this up too much? I don't care. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a voice cast in the game. Simple, pretty simple Banjo-Kazooie-esque things, I believe is what the plan is. Um, I will speak to Rob. I did this video without, like, sort of his permission, so I'm going to ask him exactly how we're going to go forward in terms of, like, what, we, what, we can, what I can reveal about the game what I can't. But all I know is that it's going to be fantastic. So let's have a look at this footage again. Let's have a look at the Bunny I Shrunk the Chimp. This is the most recent update. How much does this look like Toy Story? like Toy Story 2 specifically, it looks unreal. To me, it's just unreal. Um, I cannot wait to play this. I actually said to Rob, I said, mate, you could, your next game could just be an entire like Toy Story 2-esque game. And you know what, maybe, maybe he will end up doing that. Seriously, he is a talent at this, I must say. I've seen some of the other levels and they're very, very good, but this one is just nailing it in terms of that sort of style. Like they're, he's really, really, he understands what looks good. Um, Incredibly talented. I can't stop singing the praises. So Clive uh, Clive and Wrench the game is called just to remind you Clive and Wrench it, There's no estimated time of release, but I will say this if you're just hearing about it now You are one lucky bugger because I've been following this as I said since 2011 We're probably on the tail end of development now. I, I would say my estimation is that it will be done, it will be released in 2018, I reckon. So, you know, a lot of the time with fan games, you know, we hear about them, we get so excited and stuff, but a lot of the time, you know, you don't really, uh, you, by the time they're out, uh, <laughs> they're never, they're not out, you know? Like, by the time they're out, they're not out. That's a bit weird. That's 
quite word it incorrectly, but you know, I'm a one take kind of guy, so we'll just roll with it, will we? Um, so yeah, th this game is going to be released. There is not going to be like a sort of a, a fan game esque sort of delay, 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 and then non release. Actually, and if you can, pay attention to some of these references here you've got there because he's referencing stuff. I'd say one of the primary references uh, that Rob uses uh, for the level to the game design in general is he's very much modeling it off of Spyro and stuff like that, but also Muppet Monster Adventure, which is one of his personal favorite games. Um, he loves he loves he loves Muppet Monster Adventure, and I will be streaming that at some point. Also, want to quickly point out before I end this video, I do have a Discord server up now, so go check that out. It's not like public, like super public yet, but I've got a few people in there. Ratchet Five set it up. I don't know why. I mean, look, we'll have some fun. We'll have some fun. I'll be there. Um, so if you wanna, if you wanna talk about random things in a server, go ahead, do it, do it, and. You, well, you may, maybe you'll regret it, but maybe you won't. But anyway, guys, that's Clive and Wrench. I will be doing plenty more on Clive and Wrench now that the development's picking up. Now that we've got some more modern stuff. Now that we've got probably the final take graphically, uh, like the sort of graphical style you're going to expect with Clive and Wrench. So it's going to be very, very fun. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again to Rob for providing the footage. And we'll be back with more stuff soon. And I know people want me to do Griff the Winged Lion stuff soon. And I don't worry, I will very, very soon. Before, hopefully before the Kickstarter's up so we can get it to the uh, goal. But yeah, when this game comes out, it will be purchased. I highly, you know, if you're impressed with it, definitely go out and support Rob, the developer. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. See you later.